I think where it really started, I think it was like a couple weeks before graduation, and I submitted an application to a organization that I wanted to work for. And um, I was really excited about it. My parents were excited about it. And then literally just a couple of days later, I was in, in my room. I started to think, am I doing this for me or am I doing this because people want me to, um, just to get a job? And split second decision, I went online and withdrew the application. Graduation came around two weeks later, still have a job, felt horrible about not having a job, but nothing just seemed to fit right yet. So I went home um, and I worked for an AgCom alumni throughout the summer that looking back is the right thing at the right time because it's really propelled into something that I eventually want to do full time. But the reality is, is I have student loans. So I started looking for jobs in February, um, the one at the University of Illinois rolled around and it seemed like a good fit. I think the path of entrepreneurship and um, that kind of path down has become more common with millennials. They've probably seen their parents or their grandparents work one job their whole life and then they look, I don't, I don't want that path. Yeah, so my dad actually works for Baxter Healthcare now and he's been there for 35 years and he's kind of told me, yeah, like it's not as common to do that anymore. And, and for me personally, I think I would like to at least start with a company I'm gonna stay with for five to 10 years. A lot of the process, which I've actually started to learn recently is, is maybe taking that job that's maybe not the one you want, but it's a way to learn and, and develop different experiences and skills. So I got an offer with Pepsi in uh, December and it was actually based in Burnsville, Minnesota. Um, and it was an unbelievable offer. It was like perfect for what I wanted, but the location was what really kind of was like the, the nail in the coffin on, on not taking it. Um, and it was a difficult decision to make. Um, it was a stressful time too, because I, I didn't know what I wanted to do and I tried to get them to relocate it. Um, so I think that was, it was tough because it was everything I wanted minus the location. Um, and for me, like I want to be home to start, to start my career. I want to be able to save a little money. So um, that was really important for me. And unfortunately they couldn't um, accommodate for that. And so um, it's one of those things like, yeah, I, I knew if I took that job, would I be happy? I don't know. And I didn't think I was going to be. And I felt like, why take a job if you're going to be miserable or not happy? So. Yeah, it was a gamble, and I've been interviewing and doing a lot of different interviews since then. I am willing to move to D.C., and it's kind of funny, like a few months ago, that idea, I, like, I thought it was absurd, like, why would I move somewhere without a job? And, but now, like, thinking about it, it and talking to people, like, you kind of, like, need to be there to get the job, and the hardest part about getting a job there is the first one. So like once you get your foot in the door, then you're set because all, to all these different networks and interacting with all these different people.